You can see the pen going around in a circle, but your brain is telling Wait, you that the is, is for sure. Going... Okay, what is this? And it did strange things Bless to your, your brain XQC. because it's an optical Much illusion. Love. Well, we had Smile. so many letters about it that we decided to make another one, this time a smaller one that you can make at home. You won't need an electric motor to spin it. You can spin it with a piece of cotton thread. Well, here's the pattern for it. You notice that it's not a rectangle. It's actually a trapezoid. It slopes in towards one end. Now, your brain tells you that most windows are rectangles, even when you know they're not. And that's the whole basis for the illusion. What you need to do is to find some thick cardboard which is the same colour on both sides, and then mark Shrew. out around that window. Now, once you've done that, you then do it, right? cut it out with a good pair of on a small scale, and you'll shade in with a coloured pen those sides there. So to you. Now, here's the spinning motor. It's simply a piece of cotton thread tied to this corner and tied to the other corner. Now and what? I've wound it around in my fingers so that when I let it go in a moment, it'll unwind, the thread will unwind, and you'll see the thing spinning. There we are. I'll hold it at the same level as your eyes and we'll let it go. Now you know that it's turning around in circles. In fact, if you look at it from above, you can see that it's turning around in a circle. But now your brain is doing something strange. It's telling you that it's not going around in a circle, but it's oscillating. In other words, it's turning part way, Why it is way too dang the other way. Now that's a strange effect, isn't it? But if you think that's strange, wait till I add something through the middle. What am I going to add? Well, I'm going to add a ballpoint pen. And to do that, I've placed a little piece of double-sided sticky tape on the ballpoint pen. You can use ordinary sticky tape if you like. This is confusing. I'll place it right through the centre of the window and press it in place like that. Now this time, by fixing on the pen, you'll be able to see that the pen is going around in a circle and not going backwards and forwards. But what's your brain going to tell you about the window? Will your brain allow you to see the window going around in a circle will the, with the pen? Probably. Or are you going to see something really strange? Well, have a look at that. <laughs> That's unbelievable, isn't it? You can see the pen going around in a circle, but your brain is telling Wait, you that it the is, it is for sure. going part way around and turning and going the other way. And yet in order to do that, the two things have to pass through one another, the pen and the window. You know it's not possible. You know it can't happen. And yet as you look at it, you see them going through one another every time they go around. What the An amazing illusion, the Ames window. That was actually I think good. You're then. Going to have a lot of fun making your own. Guys, that was actually good. That was a good Pog illusion. Jump. I enjoyed that. Pog. Holy shit, dude. What about this? Is good. Month, baby. Love you, HTC and chat less three than three. Three that I have between thumb and forefinger. I'm swiveling them around, balancing that center one between the other two. Can you see that? You think you could do it? Stop fusion. Keep watching them even. carefully as I slow them down and stop. Not three at all. Only two. In fact, it's all a bit of a trick that your eyes and brains Can you play please on play you. Total lockdown what happens today. is Smile. This is a you're sponsor lagging comment behind by Total. You're seeing one done, point then. where it was just a moment ago when it's still moved into this position here. All the time you're lagging a little bit behind and your eyes and brains often play tricks on you. Hey, They're called optical see, illusions. Really you may have seen this one in a book sometime. It. It's another optical illusion. If it's I say to you, what do you see? You say to me, oh, I see a white vase on a black background. Good. Some Wait, what? No, I see two guys looking at each other. That's what I saw first. Some of you are saying, oh, I can see something else as well. Look carefully, particularly in the center of the picture. And you may notice two faces staring at each other black silhouettes on a white background. Now, can you see both of those pictures, the vase and the faces? Well, what I want you to do now is just focus on one of them. Just concentrate on the vase. Don't let yourself okay. see the faces. Only look at the vase, Jack. Can you do that? Almost certainly not. The faces keep intruding. The pictures keep flipping backwards and forwards from one another. Our eyes and brains play tricks on us all the time. Because when you see something, you don't just see it with your eyes. It's true that your eyes form little images in the backs of them, the retinas, and then Ch messages are sent to the Ch brain. Up. But the Ch I still see it. Ch I, Ch I still see it. The brain, in turn, is putting together with that new information coming the back, grid. all sorts of memories from the past, and also it's comparing what you're seeing in the center with what's on the outside as well. Here's another optical illusion. Have a look at this one. What can you see? You might say, I'm oh, I see a it. woman's face. Good. Is it an old woman or a young woman? Now, if there's several of you in the room, some of you are probably saying an old woman and others saying a young woman. In fact, they're both there. Can you see them both? 
No. Maybe not. Alice Young. Let's see the young woman. Let's first of all. I'm cooming. I'll come into the picture as a ghost. Guys, guys, see, us coomers, we're immune to this. Th this illusion cannot do anything. I'm, I'm, I'm immune. I'm invincible to this. Alice is the young one. Where's the old one? I don't see the old one. The ghost. And show you the young woman. Well, here's her hair I literally don't here. see it. Down here, you can see her eyelash, can't you? She's looking away from the camera. There's a. I don't see it! Guys, am I fucking brain dead? I don't see it! I, I'm, I'm confused. The cheekbone here. We come down her cheek, and that's her chin. Chin comes back up here, and she has a, a choker around her neck in that position there. Up here, of course, is her ear. That's the young woman. Oh, okay. You can see her? Sure. Now, what about the old woman? You think you can see her? Maybe she's just a little bit more difficult. I'll come in as a ghost again and point ah. her out to you. Oh, that this scared time, me, dude. The old woman is looking down. This is her nose this time. There it is, quite a large nose. And it comes back up here. That's her eye. It's no longer an ear. Now it's the old woman's eye. And down here, of course, is the old woman's mouth. So the old woman is oh. looking downwards. Did you see them both? That's another cunning optical I illusion. I see it now. Well, you might say, oh, these are very yeah, complicated this, pictures. But my eyes would never fool me. My brain would never fool me with a simple picture. What about squares on rectangles? That's fairly simple. Have a look at these two. There we have uh, a black square on a white background and a white square on a black background. Sure, I see it. Which of the two centre squares, the black one or the white one, is larger? You might say, oh, that's an easy question. The white one is much larger, and it certainly looks that way, doesn't it? But what I can do is pick them up, because they're only stuck down with a piece of glue, and I can compare them like this, and you will notice that they are exactly the same size. In fact, they're down to the millimetre the same size because I cut them out together. And yet when you look at them, Smart. you're comparing them not only with each other, but also with the backgrounds as well. What if we put some grey squares on those black and white cards? Let's see what happens then. This time I want you to not worry so much about the size of the squares, but about the colour. You have a grey here and a grey there. Which of the two greys is darker? You might say, oh, I no doubt about it. That one is quite a dark grey. This one is a very light grey. But I actually you've probably them guessed it already, colors. haven't you? If I take them off and look at them side by side, they are, in fact, identical greys. I cut them from the same sheet of cardboard. But when I put them in those positions, you're not only comparing the two greys, but you're also comparing them with the backgrounds. And the white background tells you this is a dark grey. This is because of bad lighting, probably. Tells you or... This is a light grey. So there you have another sort of optical illusion that's all to do with contrast. Oh, thanks, man. That was, that was pretty cool. I enjoyed that. Okay. Cool, man. Jam a man of fortune. And Much Jay love, man. must seek my fortune. Henry Avery's. Ja Jam a man of fortune. And Jay must seek my fortune. Henry Avery's. 1994. Jam. <laughs> I'm in there. All right, plays we've seen so far. Double jumping corner peak. The chase. <laughs> I'd like to give this video to guys, Chet for being these are against fucking newbies and shit, dude. I actually feel like when this happens, right? Please. When we get a kill in the video, and it's fucking dog shit. Dude. Quick chat, XQC fast world record before this dono is skipped. XQC fasts, 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 fasts,